Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Grow School here, and in today's video, I want to talk about every PS1 game that I played growing up as a kid, and, and these games you have to play. This isn't my original PlayStation 1, but this thing is awesome. You know, growing up, my PlayStation 1 was chipped. I know, very naughty, but we could run illegal discs on it, because I guess my dad was really cheap and we couldn't afford the real thing. But um, yeah, and my, and my memory card growing up was actually burnt. Seriously, all of the inside was burnt because I lived on this thing when I was a kid. I was born in 1992, I got a PlayStation 1 when I was around 5, and it was my best friend. I never went out, this was the real deal to me. So, my, my memory card was burnt to pieces, and in today's video, I just want to discuss every game that I played, and games that you got to play, and I hope that we can relate to it, and if you enjoyed this video, please drop it a like. So I've been collecting PS1 games for the past few years now, but believe it or not, I actually lost all my original PS1 games. I think my mum sold them. So here's a bunch of games I've collected, and I've got a bunch of games on my mobile phone, which I want to talk about. Okay, 007, Tomorrow Never Dies. Guys, this game was awesome. Third person shooter, was fun, was brilliant, gotta play it, was really good, completed it, loved it, gotta play it. Tomorrow Never Dies. This one was first person and it was way better. The gadgets were amazing. And this game, when I first played it, I was freaking out. Loved it so much. This game, even to this day, still a fun game to play, I promise you. This James Bond game is a must. Oh yes, Metal Gear Solid. Oh my gosh. This game was so good. You could become a box. Seriously, to hide from opponents, you, you would be a cardboard box. It was really scary. And this game scared the heck out of me. You break in to like this prison and this guy next door has a heart attack and it's terrifyingly scary. Seriously, when I was like seven and I played this, it scared the heck out of me. So Metal Gear Solid, definitely a game to play. And what I loved about it is when you would choke people in the game, they would make this uh, 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 and then they would pass out. Must play, still a great game, it's a must. <laughs> Guys, I must have spent hundreds of hours, more, thousands, I spent thousands of hours. Do you know how many times I completed Spider-Man on the PS1? Do you know, probably over a hundred times. It was the most best game ever. And what I loved in this game was Venom. Venom in this game is hilarious, he's funny, he becomes really good friends with Spider-Man, and I just apps, they, te they team up against Carnage and Doc Ock. It is amazing. This game, I can't tell you how many times I've played this game, and the costumes, every time you'd play the game through, you'd unlock a new costume, and it was just, so you could be like a Venom costume, where you had unlimited webbing, and then there was a costume where you could be invisible. Guys, this game was so good. Spider-Man on the PS1 is a must. This game, okay, hard. This was the hardest racing game in the world. Seriously, this game was so hard that to play the game, you had to do the tutorial, which I can remember, and you're in this underground car park, and you've got to do like a burnout, and like a 360, and a 180, and like a, um, a, a, a quick braking, and you've got to do, you got to go between the, 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 these bollards, like the, the, the pillars. And uh, it was the most hardest thing ever. And you have like 90 seconds to do it. Driver on the PS1 was so good when you got onto the main game. Driver 2 was also amazing. But in Driver 2, you could actually get out of your car and steal other people's cars. It was like before GTA was good. So Driver 1 and Driver 2 must play on the PS1. Okay, here we go, gang. Oh, yeah, yeah. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, wow. Seriously, could have, if you, even if you don't like Harry Potter, play this game. Harry Potter on the PS1, my friends. And let me tell you this right now. Hagrid's graphics, firstly, amazing. But I completed this game so many times. Looking at it was so good. I, love, I completed it 100%. Got all, got, just... I lived for this game, done it too many times, but Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PS1 must play still to this day. This, people aren't going to be happy with me. This isn't The Simpsons hit and run on PS2, this is The Simpsons wrestling. A lot of people hated this one, a lot of people didn't like it, I loved it. Again, completed it, played it all the time, absolutely loved it. You basically play as The Simpsons characters and you just fight and everyone's got their own little ability, but I absolutely loved it. 
I know you hated it, but I loved it. Okay, my friends, this is going to be a bit of a weird one. There is a thing, if you go to your local arcade, there's these things called dance machines, right? Or what some people call them, DDR. There is one DDR, which is this one. Dance Dance Revolution, or Dancing Stage Euromix. Wow, this game right here is the best one. I've played thousands of hours on this. We used to buy the dance mats and they used to break because I had sisters that were like pretty big and chunky and they used to break them with their big feet. But um, still to this day, this game holds up. If you go to any of your arcades locally, they're gonna have this exact one, the dance stage Euro mix. Oh my gosh, even still to this day, when I, one, day I want, when I, one day I wanna buy the real machine. They go for like £2,000 on eBay. And I want to buy the room. I don't want to have it in my house because it is such a fun party tool to have. Honestly, best thing ever. Challenge me. Challenge me on the dance stage Euromix. Challenge me. Anyone out there that wants to go, oh, I'll go, bro. Let's go, gang. Oh, <laughs> oh, probably the best game ever invented on the PS1 in the world. If you haven't played Abe's Odyssey, what are you doing? Where were you? Abe's Odyssey, you like this little Madokin? He's like a little alien with stitched lips. He can fart, he can pray, and like he becomes Sligs, and like he can shoot people as the Slig. You have a choice to either rescue all the Madokins, the 100 Madokins, or you can kill them all. And depending on if you are good or bad, that varies the ending of the game, but it's pretty much a, like a puzzle game, and it's an adventure, puzzle adventure, and it is so, it was just so, the graphics in the 90s when this came out, it was all artwork, it was just by, it was just unreal. The graphics just blew everyone away because the artwork was so beautiful. They remade it on the PS4, but it was nowhere near as good, but Abe's Odyssey, unreal game. Must play, probably my favorite game of all time on the PS1. Oh, and obviously, if you haven't already known, they made a follow-up, Abe's Exodus. Holy cow, two discs special. Take a look, lads. You can talk, it's got all the instructions on there, how to talk and whatnot. Absolutely love this one. Two discs special. This one was just way more fun. That's what they did, they just ramped it up, made it more fun, they made the levels way more bigger, and again, two discs special, so you could imagine how big this game was, and I completed it so many times. This game, I can't describe Abe's Exodus unless you played it. Must play on the PS1. Abe's Exodus and Abe's Odyssey. My gosh, my, I, I, I'm getting nostalgia thinking of it. This one, Crash Bandicoot number one by Naughty Dog on the PS1, um, I didn't like it. Let me tell you why, because it was hard and there wasn't a lot of checkpoints and if you died, you was reset right back. You didn't get a lot of lives and it was darn, it was hard. It was really, 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 really hard. I didn't like how the game mechanics wore. It was early days, I didn't like it. I like Crash Bandicoot, don't get me wrong, but Crash Bandicoot 1, no doubt, was so hard because there wasn't a lot of checkpoints. It was just hard. But yeah, still, I've got the game because I love Crash Bandicoot. Oh, talk about Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot 2. Now, this one right here was hands down the best Crash Bandicoot ever to be made. Crash Bandicoot 2, where, where like the polar bear chases you and the boulder chases you. And like how on the first level, you've got to skip all the boxes to get the blue gem. Oh yeah, Crash Bandicoot 2, hands down, best game ever. The, the fight against Tiny, on like the third level up, used to scare the heck out of me. You know where you're jumping from like platform to platform? That used to terrify the heck out of me because the platforms would fall through. This game was my childhood. I, I couldn't describe how many times I've played this game over, but this one right here, best PS1 game to be ever made. Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Yeah, the next one in the series. Why was this one so good? Because you unlocked special abilities. So Crash could spin, but when you beat Tiny in the first level, you could get like a really, really, really long spin. Seriously. And then in this game, you could double jump as well. So they implemented more abilities, which made the game more fun. But in turn, I didn't like it. No idea as much as Crash Bandicoot 2. Still a good game. Still completed it. Just, do you guys remember in Crash Bandicoot 3 where you're on, that, you're on a bike and there's an alien's head on the post and you hit the post and you go to a secret level? I remember that. Still a great game, Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, dang. I don't know if you guys are gonna know this one, but did anyone here ever play Crash Bash? This was like the best Crash Bandicoot party game ever. So you have teams, you, it was a four player co-op, and you could just play fun games together. You could play like this game where you're on a pogo stick and you can bounce around. 
Or, or, or there's another game where you throw boxes at each other and TNT. It was just a real fun party game. Crash, ba Crash Bash. A lot of people didn't play this, but this game right here was amazing. I love this guy. I love this character design so much. It's so freaking awesome. But did any of you guys play Medieval on the PS1? I love this guy so much. He was just a big skeleton and he had a massive long sword and you're going around killing zombies. And there was this witch that was really terrifying and really scary and the open intro to this game scared the heck out of me. And I also remember you have to climb this hill in like the first, one of the first few levels to get to the boss and it was terrifying. So, Medieval 1, I didn't complete it, it was so hard, but I've got the game just because I've got the game. I tried playing this like five years ago, and it was so hard, I couldn't figure it out. Now, they remade this on the PS4, but I didn't end up buying it. <sighs> I absolutely love this. Boys, if you haven't played Bugs Bunny Lost in Time on the PS1, what are you doing with your life? Seriously, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, I played this with my cousin when it first came out, and it, ever since, I was hooked. It was just, you go from time to time. Like, you, one minute you're, you're, you're in with, with all the dinosaurs, and it's all great, and next thing you know it, you're in, like, the 60s of all the gangsters, and, and then you're in space. Guys, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, where you have to collect the golden carrots, was amazing, and I, I couldn't tell you, as a kid playing this, it just opened up my mind. Must play, definitely such a great game, you wouldn't regret playing that. Right, we can't have Bugs Bunny Lost in Time without this one here. This is Bugs Bunny and Taz, the Tasmanian Devil. Guys, this game was so amazing. Again, same concept as Lost in Time, but you have Taz, the Tasmanian Devil, help you out. And you could switch. You could play as Bugs Bunny, but then you could play as Taz. And Taz could spin and go underground, and Bugs Bunny could, like, jump really high and use his wing ears as, like, to fly. Yeah, I know it sounds stupid, but it's a, it's a game, God damn it! And let me tell you, this game right here, you could play it with a friend in real life, and they could be Taz, and you could be Bugs, and it was just so cool. And th the only way you can complete the game or get through the game is you got to work together, because there's loads of puzzles. But this game right here, such a good fun game. It is my childhood. Okay, boys, I'm going to show all these in one hit. The Tomb Raider series. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you this right now. These games was so hard that I didn't complete any of them. Nope, I've only got them because I've got them. And one of them's missing. Seriously, this game, these games, Tomb Raider, were so hard and so scary, uh, I couldn't tell you guys, you'd have to play it still to this day for yourself. You have pistols that don't run out of ammo, but you would shoot, 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 shoot all these enemies and they wouldn't die. It would take so long to kill someone in the game. It was that crazy. And let me tell you guys this, there was one thing that we all did, didn't we? We all played the tutorial in that mansion and we all got freaked out by the butler. So we all stuck him in that refrigerator because he deserves it. I also remember fighting a tiger and I was shooting it and it wouldn't die and it scared the heck out of me. I also remember playing the demo and you're in prison and you get out of prison and these security guards just running after you, smacking your head. And that was terrifying. Right boys, and that is all my hard disks. So, on my phone, I've got a list of every PS1 game that I've played through, which I don't actually own. So I've written them down, and we're really going to show them on screen, because I need to, at some point in my life, buy these on eBay. I'm such a nerd. I went through thousands of games on YouTube of the PS1, and I legit watched an eight-hour video of every PS1 game to try and remember every game. I did that, and every game that I saw and I remembered, I wrote down. So let's go, gang. Okay, so this game here is so rare that none of you guys are gonna know it, but I just wanna show it to you guys anyway. It's called The Grand Stream Saga. It was like a role-playing game, which just, I played the demo version, and it was so amazing and scary. It was, the music in it was awesome and eerie, and I need to at some point buy that game. If you did play that game, then you were amazing, but I don't think any of you guys would've played that game. The next game that I don't own, which I put thousands upon thousands upon hours into it, is Crash Team Racing. Crash Team Racing, I was so good at Crash Team Racing, I still, I platinumed it on the PS4 when they re-released it recently. But I was so good at Crash Team Racing, I'd have friends come round and I would let them do like six laps in front of me and I'd, I'd still beat them when I was behind by six laps, knowing there's eight laps. I was that much of a nerd. Crash Team Racing was pretty much, no one in the world could beat me on Crash Team Racing. Seriously, thousands upon thousands of hours into that game, my friend, must play. You play as all the other characters, good or bad. My favorite character on there was probably Tiny. 
because he used to just give the big speed. Bad handling, but the best speed, bruv. This game right here that I'm about to call out is probably one of the most rarest games on PS1. Look at the buy this game, you're looking at about 60, 70 pounds. Future Cop LAPD on the PS1 was probably one of my favorite games of all time. Admittedly, I could never get past the third level because it was that hard, but I love that game so much. Me and my friends would sit and play the first two levels over and over again. You were just, you were just robot that had, you could set up like machine guns, explosives, and it was just really cool. It, and it's really, the game is really rare. If you have this game, it's worth some money. So yeah, Future Cop LAPD was unreal good. And I love the graphics in it. Back then it was amazing. This game right here is so rare that I can't find it anywhere on the internet, but it's a game called Tombi. And you're this guy with pink hair, and this is Tombi 1, not Tombi 2. And it was such a good game. You jump from tree to tree, and it's just like an adventure game. And if you guys have this game, it's worth some money. Go to eBay because it's worth some money. Or just hold on to it. But this game was really, really fun. I only played the demo version, but it was damn fun. Oh, okay. Out of every PS1 game in the world, this game right here, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Guys, I can't tell you guys that I completed this game. I completed it. And I mean complete, and no one completed Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. This game here, I poured in like years of my life. Yeah, years. I, I used to get home from school, play it from like 3.30 right up till 10 p.m. This went on every day for years. I had like over 10,000 cards in my deck. Seriously, in my, in my chest. And I used to go to school and, and give people free, free rare, rare cards because they were all garbage and I was the best. You get up in the memories. My gosh, I must have played that. I, I, that game was the best game ever. Seriously, I, I still remember getting Meteor uh, Red Black Dragon. The one that has 4,500 attack points and I was freaking the heck out. Wow, what a game. Oh, this is just like Tombi, but it's not. This one's called Cloner. Guys, this game, you're like this cat with a hat. And like, a, and it was just so rare. I played it on demo. I still want to play it to this day. This game, I googled it, and it, it's like worth at minimum of a hundred pounds for just one game. Guys, this game, I think it was out in Japan, a real big hit. This game, if you played it, you know it was amazing. It was just, it was like Tombi, but better. Yeah, play this game. You won't regret it. Just do it. Oh, I'm just going to get this all done in one hit. But Spyro 1, Spyro 2, and Spyro 3 on the PlayStation 1 was fun as heck. But my favorite one was the original Spyro 1. We had to chase that guy around that's holding that egg. I only recently played it on PS4 and I completed it and got the platinum version. But let me tell you, Spyro on the PS1 was just an old classic, just like Crash Bandicoot. It was amazing. Definitely a must play. I never really played Spyro 2 or Spyro 3. I played them a tiny bit, but Spyro 1, the original, was so damn good. Oh, here we go, fellas. The best game in the world. This one right here, I couldn't describe to you how amazing it was. It was like Ghost of Tsushima, but like a lesser version because this is now the 90s. But did any of you boys out there play Tenchu number one, the original Tenchu Stealth Assassins? Holy cow, what a game. Going around where you can't kill the innocent and you gotta kill all these bad guys and sneak around your grappling hook and you get like poison rice and bombs and you can go behind people and like cut cut their neck in the game like, and let me tell you this game was so scary that I, I couldn't play it originally my dad had to play it for me and it was terrifyingly scary and awesome and eerie Tenchu, Stealth Assassins, holy cow, you could be the guy or the girl. I could talk about this game for hours on end. Completed it a hundred times, was the grandmaster. Let me tell you this game, this, and the ending was so sad. So Tenchu on a PS1, probably one of the best games in the world, easily. Ah, oh, Worms, yes, the original Worms. Where you just kill each other, you have all these weapons and whatnot, you play against your friends. Worms was just fun. And I remember playing it quite a lot and um, Definitely would recommend it. I would, even, even to this day, playing that game with a bunch of friends to this day, we could have a, a lot of fun. Worms, my friends. Did any of you guys play Rugrats on the PS1? Seriously, this game was so fun. My memories of this game is that, like, there was golf. Like, you just play a bunch of mini games. You run around, and you there was, like, games where, like, a goose would be chasing you. Like, I, I don't know if you guys remember that. And also, there's, there's like, um where there's a cookie, you have cookies and you have to throw them around the room to stop from Angela, Angelica taking them. Uh, guys, this game, like, there was Reptile, you play as Reptile. Oh gosh, this Rugrats game, I would still play it to this day. Bring it on. Woo! I don't care about the original or the second one, but number three, Tekken number three, holy 
Cal, guys, where you can play as Yoshimitsu and Eddie. Who here played as Eddie and you just spam your buttons? My sisters would hate that. Eddie could just like go crazy, do back flips, front flips, and And bro, he was so good. Eddie on Tekken 3 blew my mind. And I, I loved all the characters. They were all so unique. Yoshimitsu, Paul, Law, Nina. They were all so amazing. And King, my favorite one was King. Tekken 3 was the best fighting game on the PS1, hands down. I hated this game with everything in my soul, but I couldn't stop playing it. And that was Rain Man. Let me tell you why I hated this game. It was hard. It got, it started easy and it gets insanely hard and it used to scare me. So there was a big scorpion boss that we could never get past. And let me tell you, this game, you needed precision and it was hard. Still to this day, it's hard. I could, I, none of you youngsters could complete this game. It's seriously hard, but it was fun. It was made for kids. But yeah, you go around, punching these cages and breaking free all these little all these little fly things but yeah and the game was beautifully made if you play it it's just does i remember a level where it's like there was music and you're going for this level and, it's, and there's big pencils like you're playing this game and there's big pencils and like pens and pencils and erasers it, it was crazy but it was so well designed rayman on the ps1 and right uh, don't talk to you about rayman 2 i'm not interested rayman 1 that's it Ooh, this game, just like Tarzan, but not Tarzan. Did any of you boys play Hercules? Seriously, Hercules on the PS1 was pretty much the best, most fun ever, especially the first level where you're being trained up by that little miniature mini goat guy, who's a really, I think it's Danny DeVito, or is that the actor? But he trained you to become Hercules, and it is just a lot of fun. I remember going against Sedusa, where you can't look at her eyes or you turn to stone. I remember killing that really big snake dragon where you cut off its head and it grows another head. Guys, I completed this game and I just loved Hercules on the PS1. Die hard on the PS1. Wow, wow, wow. Let me tell you boys right now. You had two, two types of gameplay. You could play as a first person shooter where I had the gun, or you could play as a third person where you're running around this building and shooting everyone. It was amazing. It was a lot of fun. And I remember it clearly. Oh, and also there was a tax. You could be a taxi. So there was actually three versions of the game. And you could be a taxi and, and go around and, and just run it around and like make loads of like explosions. Die Hard on PS1, what a great game. This one right here coming in is such a rare game that if you have this game, just like Cloner, like this, El Tombi, this game is so, or LAPD, this game is worth a lot of money. It's called Roll Away, but before Roll Away, it was called Cooler World. Basically, you're this bull, like a deflatable, like the, you're this bull and you go around collecting fruit. And it's trippy as heck. You do not want to play this game when you're high, because if you do, you're going to trip really badly. You are, you're like floating in midair, and it's a puzzle game, and again, you're this bull, and you, the, the objective is to collect keys and fruit. Crazy game, my friends, crazy game. Cooler World, or what we the Americans rename it to, Roll Away. That is one of the rarest, I think that it's worth 150 to 200 pounds on eBay right now. If you played that game, you know that was such a great concept and that game was fun as heck. This next game you guys probably don't know because it was very one of them hidden fighting games, but a game called Evil Zone. You play as a bunch of characters, but it's one guy who looked like to play as. He was like a red, like Power Ranger called Denzabar, and it's a like, objective understood, and he was so cool. Evil Zone on a PS1. You guys wouldn't have played it, but if you did, you know it was fun as heck. This one here called Rat Attack. Guys, what a fun game. You can either be the cat or the mouse and you just fight each other. Seriously, and you're in a kitchen and it was just fun. It was just like worms, just a bunch of fun. It didn't make sense and it was fun. Rat Attack, people loved it. I loved it. Oh gosh, Star Wars 1, the original on the PlayStation 1, where you open that level up and you're in this room and the room fills up with gas and you were a Jedi and you had to get out of there. Yeah, I didn't go far in this game because it was damn hard. But let me tell you, I still want to own it because I remember playing the first level and it was fun as heck, but also very hard. Oh, yes. Woo! Toy Story 2. Oh, yeah. Played this game over and over and over and over and over again, just like Hercules. Toy Story 2 on the PS1. Uh, go play it. It was just a bunch of fun. You're, you're, you're Buzz Lightyear. Running around. You have to find Woody. It... It was an amazing game, and the game was hard. It would go on for hours and hours. One level where you're at in the park, and you have to climb to the top of the treehouse, took me hours, and it took me the whole day to complete that. 
Still a must play, boys. This game right here, the South Park game on PS1, where you had a gun, and you had to go around and kill your friends, and you had this gun that like could shoot cows. Yeah, you, you had this gun that would shoot cows. Not, no, you wouldn't shoot at cows, it would shoot, like, you know, you know bullets? The bullets were cows, and the cows would land on your friends' heads, and that's how you did damage. Crazy game, but I still want to own it. Bunch of fun, boys. <sighs> a bugs of life, oh my gosh. This game right here was so scary and hard, especially when it's that level where it's raining and all the boys, them mosquitoes, wherever they are, they come to, 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 to kill all, all, the, all, the, all the ants. Guys, that game right there, A Bugs Alive on the PS1, starts really fun and lovely. By the end of the game, it gets really dark. Yeah, A Bugs Alive, such a great game. Still a must play to this day, boys. I, 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 I don't know, I'm gonna give myself nostalgia. Time Crisis, my friends. You guys, I never had this on PS1, but I used to go to the arcades and reload, action, boys. You could get that on PS1 and it was so fun. It wasn't as fun as the arcades because the guns weren't as fun, but it was still a great game. Time Crisis, my gosh, I want that game. Soul Reaver, holy cow. You were this demon thing and you could suck, he had no mouth, his mouth was ripped off and he could suck souls like this. You would go around killing these demons and you could suck in their souls. Guys, Soul Reaver was terrifyingly scary. It was awesome and I think the series is, it got rebooted, but yeah, I remember that. It used to scare the heck out of me. Okay, this one you guys probably wouldn't have played, but it's a game called Rage Racer. Not Ridge Racer, but Rage Racer. Just a racing game. I know to love it so much. I thought I'd let you know. Uh, if you played this game, it was my first ever racing game and I loved it. I completed it and I loved it so much. Just wanted to let you know that. <sighs> Guys, sorry, I didn't think this video would go on for like how long it's been going on. I better speed up. I'm so sorry if I speed up now, but my gosh. Guys, Bomberman, wow, what a game. I played the demo version of this, and let me tell you right now, I only wish I owned the real version. I can imagine the real version was that fun, but from what I played with on the demo, this game right here was the best game ever for, for any kid ever, and I really wanted it. Bomberman, if you played that on PS1, I envy you so much. Siphon filter, ooh la la. Basically a better version of James Bond. This game right here was the shooting game, really great storyline. I, th I think they made a number two, but I don't care about that. Number one though, was so good. If you played Siphon Field on PS1, I respect you, my friends. Oh, I said Tekken 3 was the best fighting game. No, 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 let me scrap that. Bloody Raw 1 on the PlayStation 1. Let me tell you why this game was so amazing. You're basically, Every character has their own spirit animal. My favorite character was Long. He was this guy who had long hair and he could become a tiger. And this tiger guy, Long, was so decent. I've got to get this on screen. Long, could, I could do this. No one in the world could beat me on Bloody Raw. But that Long could do one combo as the tiger where you could basically spam square and press down during his combo. And Long would just bust out a 17 hit combo and it would just, it looked so cool. And it punched people through the arena and you'd instantly KO them. Let me let me give you an example. So like Long Long was himself and when you press circle you would go into your, your tiger mode and his combo was like square 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 and then he would you press square again and he does this and you press down square and he'd do that and then he'd go do, 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 bang and he'd just punch that person right through the gosh damn arena it was so good 17 hit combo my gosh, it would... Boom! Bang! Da, 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 da. Oh, man, that game was sick, bruv. Batman and Robin on PS1. Holy cow, guys. This game was dark and eerie and hard. Yeah, seriously. All I remember was I, I went to a bank to go stop Freezer, and it was terrifying. Freezer turned up like at midnight and it scared the heck out of me. I used to go around collecting like quarters, the coins, the quarter coins from the telephone boxes. And that's it. I never complete this game. I never even got that far because it was way too hard, but I still remember it. I would love to play it to this day, but that game was hard as chips. Guys, I'm really sad. This game here, Medal of Honor, I played that as a kid. And let me tell you this, my mum snapped the disc. Yeah, it was an 18. My mum snapped, the, my dad got it for me and my mum snapped the disc because she found it was an 18. Well, from what I remember was you're basically sitting like the war and it was a real good game, like Call of Duty, but like the 90s version. Loved it to pieces. Thanks, Mum, for snapping the disc. You're amazing. But from what I remember, the original Medal of Honor, or was it Medal of Honor Underground? Either way, it was a great game. 
This game here, none of you guys would have played, but it was damn hard. It was called Chase the Express. And basically, you're on a train. And it was like a, um, a puzzle game. And it was really scary and eerie and a shooting game combined. And I never completed it. I never got past the first level. But I had that game and it was a pretty scary game, to be honest. Really eerie. Uh, boys, this one right here was a wrestling game. I only played one wrestling game and this was it. It was WWF Smackdown number two. Um, pretty much play. I borrowed this of this girl from school in primary school when I was like nine. And uh, yeah, you could play as all these characters like Kane, who was this guy who had a red mask. You could play as The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and it's just a wrestling game. You'd fight each other. And you could play all these fun games like, you'd play like The Last One Standing, and like, oh dude, the game was so fun. I can't describe how fun it was as a kid playing that game. It was just unreal. You, you got to play that game. I'm, I'm, I, I miss wrestling, I really do, gosh. This game right here was a racing game called Micro Machines V2 and it was so fun guys. It was like you wore a racing car but it was a miniature version and you'd, you could design your own race tracks and on the storyline the, the, the maps were so amazing like the maps were designed to be like real life. So it, it, you, you would be in a kitchen running, driving around the kitchen all like the pots and the pans and the stove and like the kettle and guys the game was so fun if you played Micro Machines V2 you know what I'm on about this game here was just unreal good must play I wonder how it holds up to this I bet you I bet to this day it'd still be if they re-released it people would still be buying that <sighs> okay none of you guys would have played this game but this is the game that really really started my childhood um, watching my dad play this game scared the heck out of me but it was a game called Nightmare Creatures and pretty much my dad loved this game so much that you're this guy with a big stick and you'd go around killing zombies and these werewolves things and it was terrifying and eerie and scary can you turn it up editor for a few seconds just so we can hear that gameplay yeah, that game was really, really scary, and my dad would be like, watch me, watch me, Al, watch me hack them up, and I'll be terrified. I, was, I must have been about six, and I was terrified, but Nightmare Creatures was the first game I saw my dad play, and it was terrifying as heck. Oh, this game was hard. I don't care who you think you are, you did, you did not complete this game. No one did. Mickey's Wild Adventure. Yeah, that game was so hard, we quit. We gave up. I would love to play it to this day, but Mickey's War Adventure was so hard, there is no way anyone right today completed that game. Mickey's War Adventure. Nope, you did not complete it. No, I won't believe you. That game was hard. Fun. The first few levels were fun, but then it gets insanely hard. We rented this game from Blockbusters one night and it was so hard, but The Lost World, Jurassic Park, all I remember is running through the level and being chased by dinosaurs and little, the little raptors, the little raptors that like come and eat you. Yeah, terrifying as anything. But that game was still fun and I still want to own it to this day. Last but not least, lads, this game I played on repeat with my friend who was like, I used to call him my, him my cousin even though he wasn't. But Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue on the PS1. Wow, what a game. I used to always be like the Red Ranger or the Black Ranger. And let me tell you right now, that game we completed over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. With that said, boys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make this video for so long because I just want this to be on my channel for like the whole world to relate to. And it's something that I'd look back in 10 years and still remember all these great games. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, if I hit any nostalgia, if you've played any of these games, please get in the comments and leave a comment because I would love to read all the comments of people out there that we can share the same nostalgia. I was born in 1992, so I'm a bit of an old boy now, but um, that's about it. Guys, if you enjoyed this one, please click the like button and subscribe for more and uh, hit the bell notification for my video. that I release a video every day, so hit the bell notification so you get notified. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.